Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. I know that everybody is probably, you know, throwing their WrestleMania plans into the air last night after uh, WWE's Monday Night Raw. I'm not saying that people aren't going to be wanting to go to WrestleMania. What I'm actually doing is saying that people are probably throwing their um, dream matches, or I guess you can say their fantasy booking of WrestleMania 32 in the air. Um, you know, the, the ending of Monday Night Raw left a ton of questions. Wow, in the middle of just, you know, two minutes... Uh, the Wyatt family uh, went from earlier on Monday Night Raw wrestling a match against uh, Ryback and the Dudleys um, to being in the main event and Eric Rowan <laughs> taking out Brock Lesnar with a big boot. I repeat, Brock Lesnar was laid out by Eric Rowan. Um, you know, basically all of the... Um, uh, the Wyatts were able to get their shit in, um, you know, the, the, the big clotheslines from Eric, uh, from uh, Braun Strowman and Luke Harper, um, you know, uh, we, we saw Wade, uh, we saw Bray Wyatt hit his uh, sister Abigail on uh, not only Roman Reigns, but Brock Lesnar as well, laying both of these guys out, they weren't getting up as Monday Night Raw faded out, it was all about the Wyatts, and this time of year, if you're going to be putting the steam on somebody, um, it, it's basically because you're trying to build them up for WrestleMania. You build the, and you think about what was going on um, last year with Bray Wyatt. You know, Bray Wyatt got to the, the, to end his feud uh, with Dean Ambrose by looking like he was the big winner coming out of that, even though he seemed like he was the guy who cooled him off and just didn't have um, anything. Um, really going and when you know months earlier we thought that uh, Dean Ambrose was going to be the the next incarnation of Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, but we saw Daniel Bryan get some steam going into the Royal Rumble everybody thought he was going to start making his comeback and main event WrestleMania 31 and be you know Superman saving the day for WWE yet once again at WrestleMania and Bray Wyatt eliminated him uh, and then started calling out uh, Undertaker, saying that he was only merely a, a man now. He did not have the streak, so he was not immortal. We go into WrestleMania. Undertaker's cold as can be in a match that nobody cares about. And um, Bray Wyatt loses. And I can't really remember much of the feuds that Bray Wyatt has had throughout this year. I can only tell you that for all of the feuds that he's had... He's never really came off good. He's not somebody that people really care about. If you put... Bray Wyatt with Brock Lesnar, and it doesn't work. I don't know, man, but you got to look and say, hey, you know, this is a great character. People like the character, but it's not helping us out in the long run. I can't really remember Undertaker when he was at a point in his career um, really being out there, but nobody really caring about what was going down. They always found a way uh, to use like the sort of the dark side of the Undertaker to always, you know, push those feuds. I mean, the Undertaker had a lot of feuds against a lot of guys that nobody cared about. Giant Gonzalez, Kamala, um, you know, tons of matches. The Executioner. Um, but they were always, always able to add something to the, to the stipulation to make you think that, oh, man, this is when it gets good. This is when we start cooking. And Bray Wyatt honestly really hasn't able to do that. He's always had strength in numbers. Um, I really think that you know what sort of killed Bray Wyatt for me was losing at WrestleMania 30. And even though that was close to two years ago now, I just can't see him believable in any feud that he's been in. It doesn't matter if it's Roman Reigns. It doesn't matter if it's Chris Jericho, Dean Ambrose. Nobody that has any kind of charisma is able to come across as being a big deal when wrestling Bray Wyatt. So if they are going to do Brock versus Bray, which is what I would put my money on right now, it's to me is just putting Brock Lesnar on the back burner. I know that you can say that Bray Wyatt and uh, Paul Heyman are going to have these awesome promos, and I know you're going to say that Brock Lesnar basically wrestling as a baby face is going to be you know, huge money and everybody's going to be loving it and buying t-shirts, even though they're just setting us up for another fall with Brock just killing somebody somewhere along the way, much like he took out Roman Reigns with the F5. Um, I, I don't think that were building up for anything great. And when Brock signed with WWE, I thought basically they had almost done everything that they could do with Brock um, during his last three-year run. And, and I know you needed to keep him around because he is basically WWE's version of pop culture with him being a former MMA UFC champion. But um, this match doesn't make money to me. This match doesn't get me uh, fired up. Um, I just think that basically... 
Um, we're going to have to go through, you know, a month, maybe two months long of uh, promos, finally get a match, and then just act like I wish I never saw this.